Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials by Eleven Ocean Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can recover your crashed files in Blender. So let's get started. I had to name this file um, Recover Crashed Files because I'm about to crash this file now. And uh, if you really want to crash your files, let me show you one way to do it. There are several ways your, your files can be crashed. But then for this, I notice that when I click on save, there's this uh, information here showing saved and the name of the saved file. So once you still have this information, it means Blender is in the process of saving your file. And if anything happens during that period of time, that means the particular file is gone. Okay. So it's about time to crash this file. Watch what I'm going to do. Go to file, save, and before the saving focus out, I'm going to crash. Boom! So guys, we're back after crashing the file. This was intentional, but I'm sure in your own case, it's not going to be intentional and you really want your files back. So how do you get your file back? Um, let me test it out and see if I can see. open my file. Open. No, don't save. And then recover crashed files. I want to double click. I get this error message. I no longer have access to this file because it is crashed. And now I have to get my file back. So to do this, there are two ways to do this actually. The first uh, method is to come to file and then you go to uh, recover and you click on auto save. So when you click on auto save, you have a list of um, pre-saved files by Blender. You see, Blender is so gracious. I mean, so all you need to do is just look for your own file and then click on it and it's going to open. So, but sometimes when you try to check the auto save, you don't get to see your previously saved uh, file, probably because of a uh, time duration or something I have no explanation for. And then that's why we have the other way of retrieving your file. And I'm going to show you that. So this would have just been as simple as clicking on the recover crash files and you'll get your information back. But I'm not, I'm not going to do this because I want to show you the other method. So cancel this and then I have to um, launch this out. And from my file here, you can see I have uh, two file information here. Recover crash file and recover crashed file dot blend one. So this is our solution. The one with dot blend one is our solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, the first one that has recover crash file dot blender file. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to rename this as uh, dot blend and not blend one. So just take out the one behind it. And I convert it back into a regular blender file and now I should be able to open it. So go to file, open, don't save, and then double click to have my file back. So there you have it. So guys, this is what I'm gonna call it a wrap. I hope you now know how to crash your Blender file and also how to retrieve your Blender file. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and until next time, keep your creativity blending.